Welcome to the Mixercist. Hey, 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 what's up, Who's that? <laughs> EB, is that you? I can't see you, but I can hear you. There's something at Are the door. Are you in my head? There's something. He's, Are you he's, in my room? <laughs> he's already in the house. <laughs> the call was coming from in the house. <laughs> That's right. How you doing, man? Good. How you been? I'm sick. I'm twisted, man. Been to the doctor. There is no cure, and uh, the doctor didn't make it. <laughs> there is. He didn't make it, man. There is He's no gone. cure, man. There, no, there, <laughs> there is no cure, and and I hope that there is one soon because it's been a lot of uh, sweating in the basement, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, and maybe you want to clarify that. Oh, it's been a lot of uh, indoor of, work uh, and conferencing and, and cameras and Zoom and yeah, and, yeah, and the whole thing. Uh, it's a different That's life it. from it. you know. All right, should we rock and roll? Yeah. Speaking of, yeah, speaking of uh, wrecking stuff and uh, destruction, um, let's talk about audio uh, destruction. Let's talk about using plugins in, in not approved ways. That that sounds pretty good to me, man. I mean, I do Let's that all the time. Rules. I mean, sometimes you Same want to make here, things man. sound the way that they're supposed to sound, and sometimes you want to make things sound not the way they're supposed to sound. I, I'm, I'm yeah, particularly. Well, uh, I just I, I always think of these stories, and here's one story about the Beatles, uh, Beatles remasters and remixes. Beatles remixes, and what one engineer had to say mm -hmm. about it, who I think was at least peripherally involved with the original Beatles. He said, "You know, when we make the piano sound, when we 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 cue the piano sound on the original record a certain way, we we didn't really want it to sound like a piano." Uh, uh -huh. we wanted it to sound like some Zen monk in the mountains, like chanting or something. And that's, so, you know, we right. used the tools that we had to make that piano, you know, come off that way to sound that way. Right. So right. the re re remix engineer gets it and goes, oh, I can get a way better piano sound. <laughs> <laughs> Which right? misses the point, right? Well, yeah. You want to bend it and break it until someone's like, I need that sound consistently. So let's make a plug in that does that. Yes. And that's how you end up with like a culture vulture or, a, you know, one of these distortion tools that's meant to really you know, crack the, crack the limits of, of what you're used to hearing. So, so what do you got going? I'm looking at your DAW here. What do we got going on? What we've got going on are various uh, destructive tools and elements. Uh, it's just a plain mm -hmm. vocal track, which is already pretty uh, aggressive, pretty, uh, well, I'll play it right now. Fuck it with me, I'm the one that will be stuck! Fuck it with me! So it's a ballad. Yeah, it's it's a love song. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so now there are obvious ways that you can mess with us, but with distortion, and of course that always plays a role, but I, but I have this little trick that I like to do in Reaper sometimes, uh, where I take, the, uh, take a filter and... Uh, mm. I modulate the cutoff of the filter, the frequency with uh, with the audio itself. So, and if you set it really fast, it kind of gurgles. It creates. I could show you really fast how it's mm. like done in Reaper. Fuck it with me. Mm -hmm. Fuck it with me. I'm the one that will be. Stop! You hear that kind of? That sounds that like kinda, that. That sounds like drowning feels. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I mean, <laughs> it's 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 okay. This is like this is uh, I used to do this in Reaper all the time. I mean, the way that you would do it is you go to this parameter modulation thing. So if you have mm -hmm. Reaper, you, you go to parameter modulation link. There's your. Uh, Fuck it with me. I'm the one. That so then that's set to the channel. You get your attack release. It's it's pretty cool stuff. And you modulate. It's like, you know, it's a bunch of different controls, and you can modulate any parameter with either the audio or with some MIDI. Mm -hmm. Or uh, an LFO. Mm. I don't know if the LFO. Yeah, here's here's an LFO. There you go. That's just like a signed LFO. Oh, yeah. You mm -hmm. can speed it up. Big fun, you know. <laughs> especially do EDM and stuff like that. Uh, dance music, a lot of automation. This is uh, yeah. very handy sh stuff to have. And there's there's extensions too, which get even deeper than this. But I think for the purposes mm -hmm. of just showing how that filter would work, uh, I think that would be a good background for the next example, which of course is. The gurgle filter. Mm. So I'm going to move mm -hmm. over here, and the gurgle filter is going to get turned on. And I, as a, there's a plugin, I've I've been starting to code some plugins lately, right? So this is uh, yeah, this is one I made about a week ago or something. And uh, let's give it a whirl. It's got distortion and it's got that filter effect, but it's a little more extreme and and also a bit smoother at the same time. So. Fuck it with me, I'm the 
And it's also got some wow. dis- distortion can odu- also modulate uh, as well, so it gives you uh, distortion will move up and down with the with the level that it's that the plugin's getting. So you can use normal distortion, which would be I'll turn the gurgle down. Oh, mm-hmm. there's. <laughs> you can break this plug in too. That's the other thing. You can, you can, you just, you just <laughs> saw it that. keeps working <laughs> even after you shut everything off. <laughs> Normal distortion or the envelope distortion, which is kind of. A little more lively there, right? Because it's modulating mm-hmm. with the signal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the gurgle filter is like it's a new project. What I, what I really, the dream is that what I'd, mm-hmm. I'd really like to do is remake uh, something I built uh, last year, released on Halloween of 2019. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's called the Voice of Death. I used, yes. I used Reactor to build it. And it's got a- Great plug. It's got the gurgle filters built in, but it's stereo gurgle filters. It's got a filters. pentagram. Well, how does. many plugins have a pentagram? <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, got- it's <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. thank you, man. It's got, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's got the gurgle filter. It's yeah. got, um, um, stereo gurgle filters. So left and right can be handled differently. They could be set. So they gurgle mm-hmm. in different directions, which gives you a nice stereo mm. feel. It's got a pitch shifter. That's Satan over here. It's got mm-hmm. a crush, which is your distortion Canyon, which mm-hmm. is a delay. And then you got some controls to modulate the delay and stuff. Fire and Fury. Fury is like a flanger. Uh, let me play. Uh, mm. So that's got kind of. That's nice. That's the whole thing. That's mm-hmm. like all of it, right? Let's just try. Mm-hmm. Uh, just let's turn up the Satan there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I already love it. Left and right Satan, right? <laughs> You know, stereo <laughs> Satan, right? So you yeah, got yeah, uh, yeah. guts, which is like your cutoffs. So you can make. And you got the resonance. And it will self oscillate too. If you mm-hmm. see. So you want to keep it just oh, yeah. shy of that. You get some really interesting effect. <laughs> you can it'll make you can actually make kind of synthesizer. I wouldn't call it. What you a make great plug. synthesizer sounds with it too. So let's. Mm. <laughs> that's new and exciting <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you know then, then there's the, the flange here which is brilliant. could be set mm. <laughs> so flange here got tweaked now there's also a B, a B page where you can um, here's all the all the parameters and actually Ooh. more than there, that could fit on the front. So if you want to get into the, say the flanger and distort it a little more or change the rate or the mm-hmm. feedback of the flanger, or uh, mm. you get a few more controls for the delay, like that there's a filter in the delay, like a high cut and a low cut that you can, and a saturation in the delay. So yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. much got, you know, any, anything you want. That's called the voice of death. And that's mm-hmm. on the, uh, on the reactor user library. Uh, site. So if you Beautiful. use Reactor, you go get Voice of Death and, uh, you know, mm. have some fun with it. <laughs> be uh, happy. It'll be a while that, before I can you co- know what? code this in like VST or something, right? You know, what were you saying? Do you, do you want to know what a really, a really nice side effect of that plugin is that it quiets the voices in my head? Oh, nice. Well, I don't a, know how you do that, but it works. <laughs> I'm sort of answering to them. They've, they've been calling out all these years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Not good. <laughs> Uh, so I'll do it like another, uh, that's voice of death. Let's see what, um, yeah. what happens if we go, um, let's, let's go, let's stick with flangers and there's uh unfiltered audio's biome, which I believe we covered on, on some earlier episodes. Now this one's got a, um, comb filter effect, but to me, it sort of sounds like a, a flanger. Let me, mm-hmm. uh, let's turn this down. I have a feeling it's going to be loud. So. So that's uh, uh, 
if you remember that the biome from Unfiltered has um, mm -hmm. LFOs that you can use to modulate uh, the various parameters, and it, yeah. it's got all these. Uh, we've got an, an episode on this, but it's got all these effects, like forty effects. Yeah. Uh, and you it's can incredible. modulate them all with LFOs or like with the audio itself. So you can you can make a Google mm -hmm. filter with this if you want. If you want to make the Google filter, you can uh, you can do it in this. Build your own. Yeah, and like you can, you can sequence them. You can make a sequencer, random stuff, a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand. But uh, yeah, so that's that's good stuff. This comb filter actually, I, you can set it up. You can get a nice uh, Judas Priest turbo kind of sound going mm. <laughs> if, you, if you want, which we want. Yeah. Uh, moving right along, a brand new plugin I picked up, still on sale from, uh, is it from Eventide? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Undulator. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's pretty sweet. And that's a, uh, it's a tremolo, but they've also built into it a, uh, uh, delay. So it's like a tremolo slash echo sort of sort of thing and i've only mucked with mm -hmm. it for a little while uh eventide have it on sale right now for 29 dollars, and i believe the proceeds are going to uh the ncaap legal defense fund or something like that it's mm. going to, it's going to charity awesome. it's uh yeah so awesome. and uh every now and then they'll they'll release a plug-in for like 29 bucks a new one and stuff and, and go go check it out it's usually cool and then this time it's uh it's charitable uh donation as well so uh let, let's play Beautiful. with ventilator just a little bit here um, yeah 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 i want to hear it on like a slower almost tremolo nice sorry there what were you, you were saying something there no, I just wanted to hear it with a slower rate and just hear the tremolo side. But, you know, that almost sounded like a delay, but without the choppiness. Yeah. Oh, like a diffusion delay or something like that. Now, how do yeah, I, yeah, how yeah. would I change the speed? Where's the uh, feedback spread? Maybe is there tempo? a rate? Sync is off. Fast, slow. Maybe that'll do it. Slow. Give it a shot. That's pretty slow. <laughs> That's sick. So we can speed it That's up. That's really neat. Pretty cool. Different shapes. That's crazy. Square ramp. Yeah. Ooh. What does feedback do? That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Goes on forever. I've I've just you know started diving into this thing and uh, I haven't tied my great stuff. I I'm not I can't say for Always. a certain fact, but I believe this is at least. At, at least loosely related to the stuff that they've got in the brand new H, uh, what is it, H nine thousand or four thousand mm -hmm. or what's mm -hmm. what's the brand new one? They just they just released a big rack mount in it that's like wicked expensive, but it's got uh, everything in it. I don't it. know if it's the nine or not, but yeah. yeah. So we got that. I mean, let me see. If maybe I'll show one more really fast thing, which is a granular plugin where where it chops the audio up into little bits, little grains, as it were. And then replace them back. Mm -hmm. Somewhat related to delay, but a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, involved, I guess, in terms of what happens with the, with the, the chunks, the grains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can do it. You can do a lot with this stuff. You can turn it into chords and Absolutely. stuff and sequences and, uh, oh, so yeah. another uh, great one from Melda productions, but that's, uh, that's about mm -hmm. it for me, man. What do you got going on? Every time you come in here, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. Oh, you know, I was thinking about doing some stuff that's maybe more mm, practical, maybe more musical. Like these are almost special effects. <clears throat> so let's see what would happen if we went for something, uh, if we went for something that we could actually build a mix around now, I'm thinking let's grab some drums and let's, uh, let's see. I have, a, do I have a bus here? Maybe not. Let's grab, um, let's grab some distortion, but in a different way. So I think we all know how to do parallel compression on a drum set and try something a little different. Don't think compression, but to give it some real zip, I've got a great plug in here. If the, um, if you're a UAD user, you'll have the API Vision channel strip, 
which is a great one, but you could also use something like True Iron or even K-Clip by Kazrog. You could use Lindell 80 by um, Plugin Alliance Brainworks. Anything that has a really good sounding distortion circuit. So let's try here taking this drum kit. Go to train. Oh, we don't want the voice at the same time. <laughs> Drums, here we go. And let's just crank the gain. Oh. So notice how without compressing or squishing anything or touching any transients, it's really accentuating the bass, number one. And number two, it's, uh, it's really grittying up the hi-hat highs and the snare attack. Like it's really doing a number on it. Have another listen with and without. So here's without. And with. Now volume differences aside, let me tame the output a touch and try and get those close. So now we're getting into dirty territory and you can actually even make that worse by throwing some compression on it. Now I'm not suggesting you play it like that, but what I would do is put that on a bus and blend it in against the original track. And without adding any compression or smearing of transients like a compressor would, this could really help things pop. You could put it just on a snare. You could put it on the kick snare combo. You could put it just on the overheads. But let's try something else. Let's take that away entirely. Get rid of the API. And I actually have Eric's Gurgle plugin here myself, and I want to show you something cool. Let's try putting just some reverb on the snare. Let's see if it's running yet. <clears throat> It is, you can actually hear it. So here's without. Listen to some reverb. Pretty standard sound. I like, now I like a nice tight reverb. This is Lustrous Plates by, um, oh, who makes Seventh Heaven? I can never remember the name. Uh, Liquid Sonics. Liquid Sonics, thank you. So I'm gonna even tighten that up even a little further. There we go, a little tighter. Nice. But what would happen if I took gurgle filter and put it just on the reverb, not on the whole kit? Ooh. Now it's too much. Let's pull it down now. So what I would maybe do with that is like at the intro of a song, when you're just getting lit up, you would have that effect on there to create that gunshot snare kind of saturation and really any distortion plug would probably do the job here, but gurgle's kind of special. Um, and then when you get into the song proper, you could automate that back and leave the regular drum kit untouched, you know, just kind of duck that nonsense out of the way, but a little bit of destruction. Do you notice how it really kind of monoed the, the snare sound yeah, too? It does the, right now. That's it does. Gurgle will do that right now too. Just yeah. I, it, but yeah. notice, let's let's play with some of these controls for a sec. Watch the cutoff. So you can go from boxy to garagey, and you can even throw in some resonance or increase the distortion. Any distortion plugin yeah. or a saturation plugin would help you do the same thing. But I'm putting it on. The reverb, not on the source itself. And so you could have some creative effects that people are like, well, where'd you get that snare sound from? Hey, it's just a regular snare plate, but I, I mangled the snare plate. Now, speaking of mangling reverbs for a second, another thing that I love to do that's probably breaking some rules is take a reverb. So here we've got, we got good old Seventh Heaven by same company, <clears throat> but I've turned the reflections all the way off. Let's hear it in its native environment. Let's put the mix at about half and let's listen to the kit with this nice room. Let me bring that back up for you. Without. So if the bass drum reverb's getting in the way there, but it's a nice sounding reverb. Well, what would happen if we took all the tail off of that? Mm. Without. With. You know, it's not necessarily a, a 
natural sound, but it's an interesting sound and it kind of does, it, it does something to the bass. Did you notice it's kind of shifting the bass a little bit? And at the same time, it's giving a sense of space without messing up the, the image with a reverb. Now you may not like it on drums. Check it out on bass. Watch this. <clears throat> Without. Because there's no tail on that, it's not going to mess up or smear the, the image. It's giving a little more stereo to the bass than I'd like. I might mono that down a touch just to, um, uh, just to keep it from getting too confused. But I like the way it creates a little bit of space around that. Sometimes as an effect, that might be a fun thing to try. And it gets even better when you use it on maybe more of a, a source that wants to be placed in the stereo image. Let's, let's throw it on the lead guitar, for example. So let's listen without. And this is the track I'm looking for here. Throw some reverb on. So that has almost like a, it's like a short slapback delay effect. Let's try it in the context of that whole mix and see without the reverb. With. Without. With. So just, you know, sometimes there's just way too much artificial reverb delay and effects and modulation and stuff. Reverbs like this that have modulation built into the algorithm or the, or the, the impulse responses to try and make it more realistic, to have it decay in a way that sounds like a real space, often will have modulation built into it. And because there's some kind of pre-delay inherent in the reverb, we can take the tail out so it's not wishy-washy, but at the same time place it in a space. A little unnatural sounding, but sometimes unnatural creates beautiful things, such as Rosemary's Baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, the list goes on, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, and, and I mean, another thing you can try doing is jamming a guitar amp on the bass itself. Let's grab, <laughs> let's grab something new here. I'm going to go to Universal Audio again, and I think we'll try, I really like this one. This is like a, a Dumble clone called the Overdrive Supreme. Let's grab this bad boy. And there's a nice preset that it comes with called Crystal Strat. We're going to grab it. Just going to pull down a little bit of the volume and just add a little bit of distortion. See what she does. Ready? This is without. Sorry, that was with. Right. Let's kick it in. Pull that gain down. Now, that's definitely overkill. However, in the context of a mix, if you're really trying to go for something trashy and gritty, you might just get away with it. Let's see what it does in the context of the rest of that little mix. Let's try it without first, shall we? <clears throat> Let's kick it in. Without. 
You almost miss it when it's gone because it's just dirty oh, enough yeah. to make the song interesting and give it a little bit of character. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, it's like the, uh, it's like Lemmy just walked into the room. Totally. Or, you know? With a Rickenbacker and a distortion pedal and a broken, uh, Marshall, like uh, a broken cone in his amp head, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, think he had Marshall. Didn't he have Marshalls behind him? Like, didn't he have the Vroom? Oh, it's a good point. The Vroom Marshall. Right, and he the, uh, mm-hmm. he loved a couple. Of, I've seen a couple of players that like to do that, just use a guitar amp for their bass and, uh, absolutely uh, maybe in addition to the uh to the low frequency stuff or whatever right so that they run a couple yeah. but i mean to get that grind to get that grit i mean that's like that's amazing so those are some ideas guys you can just try in your mix right so next time you find things are a little boring you want to spice it up a little bit grab reach for a, a plugin that you wouldn't normally reach for in that context and don't worry about you know you got yourself this nice $300 EQ plugin that sounds like a pull tech and it's all beautiful and perfect. Mess it up a bit. Go do something with it. You're not supposed to, you know, turn it into a synth basically. <laughs> break it. <laughs> um, using some of these tools, break it, man. Because I mean, that's, you know, the sounds that we know and love from the records that we grew up with or inspired by. That's what they did. So, uh, don't be afraid to, uh, to fail. Mm-hmm. Try something new this week. Oh yeah. And hey, send it in, guys. Why not, you know, send us your mixes, yes. send us your your whatever you come up with, man. We need to we need some new stuff to put on the show. So we, we really want to put the spotlight on you guys. Don't hesitate. If you got some yeah. stems that are copyright free, ship them on over to us and we'll play with yeah. them. Yeah. Send it to uh send, hook us up with an email at um, info at mixersys.com or uh comment mm-hmm. on the YouTube. And, uh, so yeah, you know, because we'd love to hear your stuff yeah. and we'll, we'll play with it and we'll, Definitely. we'll show it on the show and, uh, you know, full credit, of course, uh, we'll, we'll yep. be given, we won't, we huh. won't tamper with your mixes. We'll, no. you know, we'll play with it for the sake of demonstrating, yeah. but we want to hear great music. We want to hear great mixes. We want to yeah. showcase your We, work, we so. might run them through the Google filter. We might. We just might. Yeah. I didn't say we wouldn't break <laughs> <Yeah>. them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, I think that's it for this week's episode of The Mixer Sis. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter and anywhere that evil lives. You'll find us there. Yes, indeed. We look forward to seeing you next time. Until then. <laughs>